The video generation model at the top of the leaderboard as of this recording is SeaDance 1.0 from ByteDance. There's SeaDance 1.0 Pro and a cheaper alternative, SeaDance 1.0 Lite. They both do text to video and image to video. Right now we're gonna try it out and compare outputs from SeaDance 1.0 Pro and Lite to Hilu O2 and Kling 2.1. For most of these we'll do text to video, but we'll do image to video for a few also. Let's get started. Here we're looking for a POV shot of a mountain biker riding downhill and doing a jump and twist and then switch to a drone follow shot. From SeaDance Lite, the biker in front gets some big air, probably more than physics would allow, but no twist. The handlebars of the bike we're on don't seem to be attached to anything, and it doesn't switch to a drone shot. Seadance Pro, the shadows from the bike in front are really cool, but no twist. The POV bike in back seems like we jump a hill, but we're back on the ground with no landing and no cut to a drone shot. Hilu O2 ignores the POV part and just has the camera in a spectator spot. No real twist when the biker gets airborne, but the speed ramping when the bike launches is a nice technique. With Kling, it's got the POV following perspective. None of them got the first person POV perspective, but Kling is the only one that got the twist trick on the jump, but there's a little bit of wonkiness in there. Overall, Kling came out closest to what I asked for in the prompt, but I like the Hilu version best for keeping everything together and giving me a better camera angle than what I asked for. Now an Italian chef should be slicing some veggies and putting them in a skillet and the camera cuts to the skillet. Seadance Light has him cutting up one kind of vegetable and then he picks up a different pile and then what he puts in the skillet looks more like what he was cutting, not what we saw him pick up. The way he picks up the veggies in Seadance Pro is weird, but otherwise the consistency is strong and the cut to the overhead scene looks good. These veggies seem to be melting a bit as he's cutting them in the Hilu version, and what he puts in the skillet just doesn't really look like the pile he picked up off the cutting board. Kling gives us one slice, and then we pick up a weird piece and put it in the skillet. Not perfect, but it might be usable. They all did well with the prompt and the cut to the skillet scene, but I'd give this one to Seed Ants Pro for the consistency between shots. Next up, we're going for a father-son argument on a front porch in the rain with a cut to the father's face going for an emotional moment. Seed Ants Light has the son looking like an NPC in a video game, and it might be gloomy outside, but no rain. And the porch is weird. With Seed Ants Pro, we got rain coming off the gutters in a strange way, and the whole scene just feels stiff. Some weird hand-to-hand -hand something at the beginning of the Hilu version, and the arms are blurry when they're flapping, but this doesn't really look like they're arguing. The dad looks very realistic, though. Kling looks like dad's having a meltdown, and I don't know why he's sitting in the rain when there's a roof literally right behind him, and the lightning sits still in the sky for way too long. I can't say any of these is a winner, they're all duds for one reason or another, but Kling and Hilu seemed close enough that a re-roll might make something solid. We're about to do some welding at dawn, and the camera should be circling as the sparks fly. From the Seadance Light version, it looks like the cord of the welder is tangled up, and maybe that's what he's welding, or maybe he's welding air, which is not how a welder works. He's not wearing a helmet, that's really bad for your eyes, and whatever structure he's working on just doesn't look right. The Dance Pro version at least has him welding something that looks like a beam, although it's weird that he seems to be just welding in the middle of that beam. Still no welding hood, helmet, or eye protection, so his eyes are going to be really mad at him later. Hilu O2 put a welding helmet on our subject, but his welder seems to be cordless, which again is not how welders work. The building looks really strange, and look, I'm okay with him sitting down on the job, but welding between his legs like that with all those sparks and hot metal flying is just asking for the kind of problems you don't want. Kling has the guy welding in the middle of a beam, and for a second I thought it was just his fingers doing the welding, and then I saw it, but still no welding helmet. Those goggles just aren't gonna cut it. Apparently these guys have never heard of OSHA. The camera work is good all around, but I've got problems with all of these. I guess I'd give this one to Hilu because it's the only one with a welding helmet, even though that guy's boot and potentially more prized possessions are likely to be melted before he's done. This is a weird one. A glowing rubber ball is supposed to pop out of a vending machine in a deserted airport, and then the camera follows it. Seadance Light has the ball pop out of a soda machine, and it looks more like just light than a glowing ball, and it does not move like a ball should. Not feeling it. Seadance Pro has the ball come out of a glowing orifice, but the ball isn't glowing. It does bounce and move in a more convincing way, and the weird Back to the Future DeLorean-style vending machine works for me. 
Hailu gives us a ball that glows and moves in a plausible way, except when it goes dark and takes off on its own for a second, but then it gets with the program again. Kling said, nope, not gonna have the ball come out of a vending machine and not even gonna make it round, but we'll make it roll as though it were round in a room that looks like it's from a video game 10 years ago. Hailu wins this round. Despite the momentary absence of glowing and unprovoked acceleration, it did what I asked and it looked cool. Now we have somebody playing a grand piano in an empty warehouse and the camera circling around. This one from Sea Dance Light looks legit, although I think our piano player only has one leg, but that's okay, and I like the reflection of his hand in the piano. Sea Dance Pro, this one looks good to me. I like that he's moving his feet, although I wonder if they aren't supposed to be doing something on those pedals in front of him, but I don't know enough to say whether that or the apparatus around those pedals makes any sense. Hi Lou sawed our piano player in half, and it looks like she's trying to scoot her top half over to the spot where her legs are dangling to get put back together. Now, I'm no expert on grand pianos or any piano, but I know what Kling produced ain't right at all, and it just ruins the whole thing for me. Sea Dance Pro is the best of the bunch this time. Even if there's a problem with the piano that I just don't know enough to see, it seems better than the others. Friends having a picnic, a frisbee toss in the background, this should be easy, right? The Sea Dance Light video has the frisbee that's sitting in the middle of these folks just self-animate and take off, which at least distracts from some of the other problems in this thing, like the Morphe or low-quality rendering in the faces. In the Sea Dance Pro generation, I don't know what this green thing is that this guy's shoving toward the people that are shoving a plate at him, but then when this guy on the right gets up and throws this thing that looks like a plate, it doesn't move like a frisbee and then it just vaporizes. Nice. Hailu puts the frisbee in the background, like we asked, but it still doesn't work like a frisbee, and then just melts. And the face of the woman on the left seems to melt at one point, too. The frisbee in the background from Kling doesn't really make a lot of sense, but the faces of the picnic people melting and morphing is even more disturbing. These are all bad, but the Sea Dance Pro version has a few salvageable seconds before the guy throws the plate thing and it vaporizes. For this one, I asked for way too much stuff, but the short version is a robot in a factory going haywire. I'm surprised at how much of what I asked for Sea Dance Light actually included. It didn't fling metallic objects or go into shutdown, but the way it zapped the wall or whatever across the room was better than what was in the prompt. Sea Dance Pro did fairly well too. It has the blue electricity, it spits out a metallic object, and then goes into shutdown. Both Pro and Light got the red LEDs and conveyor belt in there too. Hilu O2 has a more futuristic sci-fi thing going on, which is fine for this, and it does fling some metal before it starts zapping itself and everything around it. It leaves us on a cliffhanger though. We don't know at the end whether the robot arm's going into shutdown or continuing its destructive meltdown. In Kling's take on this, the chaos just isn't obvious to me at all. This could just as well be some kind of welding or cutting robot working normally, except for a few electrical arcs. But it left out a lot and didn't give me a robot gone haywire vibe. I think my favorite here is the one from Sea Dance Light. Even though it didn't get all the details from the prompt, it got the idea and it made a cool clip. The problem with asking for too much stuff or for too many things to happen in an AI-generated video isn't just that it might not include everything, it's that it might also get confused and do entirely different things than what you asked for. I don't know what I was thinking using that prompt from whichever AI I used to generate it. Now we want to see a wildlife photographer snapping a picture of a tiger, then the camera cuts to show us what the photographer sees through the viewfinder. Sea Dance Light gives us a disinterested tiger a few feet away from our photographer, and we can't see the tiger he's taking a picture up until the cut to not the viewfinder where we can now see the other tiger has materialized right in front of the photographer. Sea Dance Pro starts off okay even though we can't see the tiger yet then the camera cuts to I don't know binoculars looking over the photographer's shoulder at the tiger right in front of him and I wonder if he realizes that's way too much lens to photograph something that's close enough to smell. Hailu shows a photographer with a tiger walking away in the background then we get photobombed by another camera that has a tiger head floating toward it. What are you doing, Hailu? Kling went another way, again, showing us a tiger sneaking up on the photographer, and then it just moves the camera instead of cutting to another shot, but lets us see the tiger moseying on by the photographer. Even though Kling didn't follow the prompt, it produced what I would say is the only usable clip, the only one that seemed plausible and not completely weird. For this one I did image to video, just gave it this image of an astronaut in a spaceship or space station or whatever, no prompt, and let each model do its thing. Sea Dance Light has the astronaut look right and left a bit and then raise his arms slightly, not much movement outside or on the screens or gauges inside, but a little reflection from the astronaut moving. 
C-Dance Pro does a lot more. Our subject turns, walks towards the camera, takes off his helmet and smiles, and the camera moves a little bit too. I guess he doesn't need to keep that helmet on inside there, so I'm not sure why he had the helmet on in the first place. Maybe he just came in from walking the space dog. Hilu does a slow zoom on our astronaut who's scanning the controls, the movement of the reflections on the screens, and being able to see more outside the window as we get closer makes this one feel kind of authentic. Kling also does a slow zoom in, but has most of the movement happening outside the window. Leave it to Kling to have a different take on things. But it works. My pick of this batch is the Hilu version. The way it handled the view out the window and the reflections with just a little movement of the astronaut made it feel like we were being pulled into the scene. Here's another image to video where I just gave it the image with no prompt and let it go. We've got a lion chilling on a rock and some zebras hanging around in the background. Sea Dance Light didn't try anything crazy, just the lion scanning left as the camera pans left and the zebras subtly moving in the background. Sea Dance Pro loses me with the weird way the lion's breathing and then its tail seems to form together in two pieces when he raises it up and flips it. The lion looks right and the camera pans left in the Hilu version of this one and the pan seems a little fast while the zebras kind of look like they're standing perfectly still. Not loving this. Kling does something a little cooler with the camera here, but the lion looks distraught. Like maybe he's hot and looking to see if the ice cream truck is coming. And something about his mouth just doesn't look right to me. I gotta go with the simple but functional generation from Sea Dance Light on this one. I'm kind of surprised at how many times Sea Dance Light or Sea Dance Pro had what I consider to be the best generation out of these. As I've been experimenting with it, I didn't really have the sense of, oh, Sea Dance is the greatest thing since sliced bread. But here in these comparisons, it seems to be holding its own against comparably priced models. Now, I didn't try it against something like VO3, which is, I don't know, five, eight, ten times as much as things like Hilu, Kling, and Sea Dance. And on the platforms where I've seen the Sea Dance model, it seems to be at or below the cost of things like Hilu or Kling. Now for any of these videos, tweaking the prompt or simply re-rolling the generation could have had entirely different results from any of these models. So I wouldn't say that just because Sea Dance did pretty well in these tests that it should be now be the only or the go-to model, that's not the case for me, but I think it's certainly worth a try. I think different models do better with certain video styles or subjects or contents, and I think different models also seem to understand different users' prompting styles better. What's best for you might not be so good for somebody else and vice versa. If you want to try out the Sea Dance 1.0 model, it's available on many video generation platforms like OpenArt, Design, FreePick, Replicate, and many others. I used OpenArt to generate all the videos from Sea Dance 1.0 Pro, Sea Dance 1.0 Lite, Hilu O2, and Kling 2.1 for this video. Hey, my name is Bob. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.